Hello, hello, it's Antar and I am back with the last of my battles against Mr. Neely13. Okay, actually that's not true, there's one more battle um, that we had. It was actually against this same team of mine, he used a different team. Um, but I'm going to try to upload that uh, battle to Pokemosh Pit Beta. So anyway, uh, just going to lead off with my Yuxi as I always do. Um, Waterfall Coliseum and whatnot, and so we're going to get down to this battle. Uh, <clears throat> So yeah, I go ahead and lead up with my Yuxi, and so does he, and something- Oh god, this is probably one of those standard Scarf, uh, T-Wave, Trick Yuxis, and I'm not looking forward to it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and set up my Stealth Rock, even though there's a good chance I'm gonna get locked into it. But no, instead, this is a very strange set, it's a calm mind- it's a calm minding Yuxi. Uh, so I'm finding that really interesting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my rocks, uh, because I love having rocks up on this team, and I'm actually really glad that he didn't set up rocks on his end. Um, he goes ahead and goes for the Calm Mind again, as I'm gonna go ahead and switch out with a U-turn, which is gonna be super effective and isn't going to care about those, um, uh, Calm Mind boosts. Uh, and as that hits, I'm going to go ahead and switch into the Pokémon that I should have sent in as my lead to begin with, um, yeah, so Yuxi's called back, and I'm gonna go ahead and s switch in to Steelix, uh, who would have been a better lead in this situation, because it also carries Stealth Rocks, um, just in case someone on this team has Rabbit Spin or Taunt, uh, what have you, it's always nice, I mean, this team kind of depends on having Stealth Rock. Uh, so anyway, I go ahead and Stone Edge him, uh, and it does a pretty good, uh, whack to him, it's definitely doing more than his plus two extra sensory did, uh, he recovers health with, uh, Citrus Berry, which is paying off for him, um, he's gonna go ahead and go for another Calm Mind here, just to try to get as much damage on me as possible, I guess, although really, at this point he'd been, he would have been better off just keeping going for the extra sensories, because, uh, the more Calm Minds you do, the less bang you get for your buck, um, I mean, he is also upping his spec death, so he figures, uh, I guess he figures, if he can somehow KO me, um, I'm gonna have to spend a physical attack or not be able to do anything to him. I love Yuxi because it is such a defensive beast. Uh, it just, I mean, look at how it's taken those hits. Now, granted, Steelix doesn't have the best of attack, but it has decent attack. I've actually invested a considerable amount in this Steelix's attack. Um, but yeah, so now I'm down, uh, to less than half, um, but, un uh, with his extra sensory, but he has not gotten me to with if it, within Custap range, um, which is rather unfortunate for me. Um, it's very rare that I can actually manage to get off a Custap prioritized um, explosion with Steelix. I anticipate that one Custap berry is released in uh, Gen 5. I'll be able to do that a lot more thanks to Sturdy. Anyway, he switches in his drill, and I'm thinking he's probably going to go for the EQ. Otherwise, why would he send it in? Um, because I've got I've got Earthquake, and that's going to be super effective against him. So I decide, number one, whether I think he's going to get EQ, and number two, whether um, I think he's going to... Um, whether I think I can take it. I decide I'm just going to go ahead and switch. I'm going to go ahead and switch into Yuxi. Um, and he goes ahead and Stone Edges, predicting my switch. So I'm like, okay, good prediction. Uh, really wish I'd stayed in, but oh well, you know, hindsight uh, is 20, 20 and whatnot. And now he's got the um, Quick Claw, which is banned in Civilized Play, um, but, you know, I don't mind, really. I mean, it's a little, it just adds more hacks to the game, but it is what it is. He gets a crit additional hacks there. But it is Stone Edge, so when it hits, it's got a heightened um, chance of critting. Anyway, he gets two um, Quick Claws in a row, and I thought Quick Claw only was 10%, but it turns out it's 18.75%, so that's not as hacksy as I was thinking it was, but that's still pretty hacksy at this point. Uh, you know, 20% arounding, no, times 20%, you're down to 2% chance of that happening. Wait, 4% chance of that happening, just kidding. Anyway, go ahead and send in Maryland here. Gonna go ahead and water spout. Um, just thinking, there's no way he's gonna get a third one in a row. And he does! And I, I calculated the odds that that's less than a 1% chance of happening. Um, which, you know, it's within the realms of possibility, but I think it's probably a glitch in PVR more than anything. I go ahead and water spout him because thank god his stone had missed, and I do manage to take him out. Um, Ice Beam probably would have done the same thing, but whatever. I always love to get off water spouts with Blastoise because it's just so awesome. Um, although the animation is just cracked for it. It really should be coming out of his, you know, cannons, but whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and call back Marilyn at this point, um, and go ahead and switch in Tachikoma, predicting the high jump kick or something like that. Instead, he goes for the protect, um, so that doesn't do anything, and I consider what I'm gonna do, and I, go, I decide, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and 
uh, use substitute predicting that he's going to switch. Um, so yeah, I go ahead and set up my sub, uh, deducts a uh, quarter of my HP, and he's going to go ahead and rock slide. So okay, he's running a rock slide, rock slide on the set, so not the best situation for me. Um, and that's obviously going to break my sub, and I'm going to want to switch out my Tachikoma on the next turn. Uh, get a little bit of leftover recovery, because that's how this set rolls, and I'm going to go ahead and call back Rotom. Anyway, next out for me is going to be Steelix again, because I figure if you wall him, I'm not sure that he runs any, um, any, uh, strong, uh, fighting type moves. And even if he does, you know, if Steelix is pretty bulky, I think he can probably take it. He goes for the Rock Slide again, and so this just makes me think, what the heck is he doing? He must not have a good uh, fighting type move. Uh, he gets the Flinch Hacks, which really pisses me off. Uh, he's been getting a lot of hacks in this game, but oh well. Now he goes for the High Jump Kick, I'm like, oh no, why didn't you just go for that to begin with is a good question, but no matter. He takes out my Steelix, and that is that for that, and I'm just really sad about um, losing my Steelix so early. Really wish I still had my Yuxi, who also died to hacks, by the way. So anyway, I decided to send out my um, Arcanine here on the Switch. Uh, he predicts that's, uh, he predicts me quite well. Um, sends out his Omastar. I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz here, um, which does all, doesn't do that much damage, especially considering it was a crit boosted by Life Orb and Stab, and I'm like, oh man. Um, yeah, the recoil for the actual attack did practically nothing. Anyway, so I decide I'm going to stay in and go for the Thunder Fang. I'm pretty sure I'm faster. I'm not sure whether this is going to KO, um, but, you know, it is 2x effective rather than uh, 4x resisted, so I'm hoping, and indeed, it KOs his own star, which is awesome because I didn't want that thing, uh, you know, re uh, wreaking havoc on my team. And now he sends out his wheezing, um, and I do a little bit of really awesome prediction. I call back Blake, and I go ahead and send out my Rotom, um, expecting him to explode, and indeed he explodes! So, wasted uh, wheezing. He could have gone for the Shadow Ball. I, I think they learned Shadow Ball. I'm not sure. Um, if not, I'm pretty sure he learned a dark type move, like Dark Pulse. But anyway, I predicted that so exquisitely well, and my Rotom is the happiest little Rotom ever. Um, it's gonna go ahead and go for a Shadow Ball here. I am faster. Uh, it's a super effective hit. Does not KO. He survives just a little bit of HP. Um, he goes ahead and sets up a light screen now, um, which isn't going to help his um, Mesprit, but it is going to help his last Pokemon, I uh, figure. Um, really bad move on his part, he should not have called back Mesprit for two reasons. Number one, um, Stealth Rocks are up, so unless this um, Hitmon Chan, no, Hitmon Lee carries. Um, Rapid Spin, it doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, I get a crit here. The crit didn't matter because I am faster, so what I could have done in one move with a crit, I could have done with in two moves. So that is what it is, and now his emotion, his Mesprit is going to die to Stealth Rocks, and that is the end of the battle. So, um, hope you enjoyed the series of battles against uh, Mr. Neely13. As I said, there's one more that will someday be going up on PMP Beta. Um, folks, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.